TCS presents Penn State Football. Beaver Stadium in University Park, Pennsylvania. It's the Penn State Nittany Lions versus the North Carolina State Wolf Pack. This game is brought to you by Dodge. For a good buy, see the good guys at your local Dodge dealer today. And by Genesee Beer, our one brewery makes it best. And by your 40,000 Westinghouse neighbors in Pennsylvania who help make products that conserve energy by using it efficiently. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ray Scott. Here's George Paterno. The record, George, says North Carolina State, three wins, five losses. How good are they? Well, they're a real fine football team, Ray. As we know, uh, the last three games that Penn State and North Carolina State have played have been decided by six points or less, and North Carolina won two of them. Uh, they have a very strong running game, and I... Yeah, I think we're going to have a continuation of last week's type of a game with their offense against Penn State's defense, and Penn State's defense must be a little quicker and a lot tougher than they were last week. Former Penn State star Bruce Bannon is with us today on the field, and he's with Coach Joe Paterno right now. You know, uh, when I played down with uh, Miami for two years, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> Coming back here to watch my first Penn State game and not playing in. You know, I find out that you just can't approach the enthusiasm and the spirit of the <laughs> players and the coaches in professional football like you have here. It's really tremendous. Well, we think so. We, you know, we've enjoyed it so much, Bruce. Having guys like you around have been great. It's been a lot of fun. You know, uh, I'm sure that most of the people realize that Penn State and yourself have actively promoted the idea of the student athlete. That is someone who is not only out there on the football field, but also studying. You're a and prime example, Bruce. <laughs> The thing about this is I understand the Dodge boys in Pittsburgh are developing some sort of scholarship to promote uh, academics through athletics. That's what they're going to do, Bruce. The, the uh, Dodge boys from Pittsburgh have, are going to give a scholarship each week to the, uh, to the university for, an, for a non-athlete, for a student, and help a student make a better life for themselves. And they're going to do that in honor of the outstanding player each week. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, we can get the Philadelphia Dodge boys to go along with this next year because I think it'll be a great relationship between a fine university and a lot of really great people. The Dodge people are superb people. They're interested not only in athletics, but interested in a lot of young people. And this gives them an, a vehicle to, to let people know how interested they are in helping people. It's really a tremendous idea. Uh, to get to the game today, you're playing a team, North Carolina State, that in the past two years, uh, most Penn State fans have <laughs> feel that they've upset you. Uh -huh. um, how do the coaches and the players approach a game like this today with that factor in mind? Bruce, I, you know, I never look back we, either when we've beaten somebody or lost to somebody. My feeling is always that the game as it's played that particular day is between a lot of different individuals. And I, I really don't think there's anything at all in the background that has anything to do with what's going to happen out here this afternoon. Uh, we've prepared very well. North Carolina State has a good ball club. It's the best team we will have played since Ohio State. They're tough. Uh, they're getting better each week, and uh, hopefully we are. So I think it's just a question of who mm -hmm. plays a better game today. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Turner. Good luck today. Thanks, Bruce. Now, it's good to see you back. Back up to the people in the sky. Okay, we're back here in the sky. George Paterno, a coach's viewpoint of Chuck Fusina, the Penn State quarterback. Well, Chuck Fusina has been the catalyst, Ray, that lit the fire under the Penn State offense when he got his first start against Army. Uh, since that's four games ago, he's completed 59% of his passes for over 600 yards. He gets a little better each week. All right, now, how about this great one-two punch of North Carolina State, their quarterback and their great running back? Well, that's the number nine is Mr. Evans. He's a bona fide triple threat. He's uh, accumulated over 1,000 yards running and passing, and he has a punting average of 45 yards, which could play a big factor in today's game. Last year, he quick kicked 81 yards. And in Teddy Brown, they have his final runner as there is in the country, and he has to be stopped. 
Okay. That would be a rundown of the two quarterbacks plus the great running back of North Carolina State. Final home game of the season. Bruce Bannon, what are your thoughts right now? All I can say is that it's cold down here for me and for the fans, but it's a great day for the football team. The sky's a little overcast. It's in the 40s. The field's in real good shape. I think the only problem that might influence the game today is the wind conditions. It's gusting to about 15 miles an hour. This might cause some problems in the passing game. And now we'll be back after this word. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the Penn State senior football players who are appearing in their final home game at Beaver Stadium. Number 53, Kurt Allerman, Kinelon, New Jersey. Number 18, John Andrus of Greensburg. John Andrus. Number 69, Ron Argenta of Delmont. Number 70, Chuck Benjamin, Creskill, New Jersey. Number 71, Brad Benson, Altoona. Number 34, Mike Capaletti, Upper Darby. Number 64, Ron Crosby of Glassport. Number 13, Joe Donato of Dunmore. Number 36, Rocco English, Winter Haven, Florida. Number 96, Craig Enyart of Saxton. Number 49, Steve Gluns of Pottsville. Number 43, Kevin Hart of Pittsburgh. Number 87, Tim Kissel of Coatesville. Number 63, Greg Kubis, Edison, New Jersey. Number 91, Carl Kunert, Natrona Heights. Number 77, Chris Lavelle, Clinton, Massachusetts. Number 48, Rich Motti, Miller Place, New York. Number 84, Joe McCabe of Pittsburgh. Number 52, Tom Olzajewski of Wilkes Bar. Number 68, George Reiner, Washington. Number 41, Bernard Robinson, Owings Mills, Maryland. Number 58, Dave Shukri, Lindenhurst, New York. Number 89, Dave Stutz of Mifflin Town. And number 35, Larry Suey of State College. Ladies and gentlemen, the Penn State seniors in their final home appearance. Well, George, I think the weatherman might have been just a little bit kind when he said that it was going to be in the high 40s. I have a hunch that out there in the wind, it's a little bit colder than that. A little bit colder up here also, right? I think the wind could be a big factor in the game with such a fine punter as Evans. The officials, by the way, for today's game, as we watch the Penn State team across the field from our television position, the referee is Bill Parkinson, the umpire is Clark Gaston, the linesman Richard Farina, the line judge Ronald D'Souza, the field judge is C.C. Daly, the back judge Joseph Brownlee, and the clock operator is William Goodfellow. The co-captains go out onto the field with the officials, and in a moment, we will have the official coin toss. Nice to meet you, Captain. Captain, nice to meet you, Captain. Nice to meet you, Captain. Captain, all right. Got him. Right. All right, good. Introduce yourself. Will you please, fellow? Introduce yourself. Hi, gentlemen. If you'll face this way, I'll introduce a fellow crew of officials. 
Back judges, Mr. Brown Lee. Line judges, Mr. D'Souza. The line judges, Mr. Farina. The umpire is Mr. Gaston. The field judges, Mr. Daly. The clock operator is over there. Let me have a captain who will call this coin. I'm going to catch the coin. 52, you're going to call the coin? I must catch the coin. If I drop it, I'll retoss. I have a head and I have a tail. Call. He calls tails. It is a tail. And one is one to toss. You want to toss. They're going to receive. Stand up there, Blue. All right, shake hands. North Carolina State has won the toss, elected to receive, and George, brother Joe today, will be attempting to win his 100th game as a head coach here at Penn State, as I understand it. That's correct, Ray. Uh, I hope this gives the team some incentive. He's been here a long time. He's like an old institution now. Capacity crowd on hand. Penn State today has an opportunity to break uh, several all-time attendance records, average per game, and total home attendance. For Penn State, Bill Banks has not played the last few weeks because of injury, and as we understand it, he'll be ready today. North Carolina State will be playing without a fine young tackle. Bubba Green is out because of injury. But other than that, the two teams are in pretty good physical condition. Uh, North Carolina State has a back by the name of Springer that also will play, also a fine player. Well, let's see. North Carolina State will have Timmy Johnson as one of the deep men. 24, Jim Denning. Number 44, Ricky Adams. Ricky Adams is in the middle, number 44. Matt Barr will kick off. North Carolina State won the toss, elected to receive. Barr's kick is being chased by Ricky Adams, and it goes out of bounds. That will be at the one-yard line, so Penn State will have to kick over and suffer a five-yard penalty. Ray, that wind is more of a crosswind than it is going, uh, you know, strongly one direction or the other. George, from what you know of North Carolina State's attack, can you compare it in any way, for example, uh, is, will it look anything like that Kentucky offense that gave Penn State so much trouble with a big, strong running quarterback? Uh, well, they have a good, strong running quarterback, but they have a split backfield more similar to Syracuse's offense and uh, than Kentucky, who had three men in the backfield. A lot of option plays will be run this afternoon. After a five-yard penalty because of the kickoff going out of bounds, Penn State has it teed up again, and Matt Barr kicks to North Carolina State with Ricky Adams deep at the six-yard line. Good kick. Adams at the eight. 30. Good run back, 37-yard line where Scott Hedinger ran Adams out of bounds. So now, keep your eye on Johnny Evans, number nine, the North Carolina State quarterback. Number 23, Ted Brown, their great runner. Number 21, Jimmy Johnson, the other running back. Wide receivers are number 12, Elijah Marshall to the near side. Number seven, Dave Moody to the right side. First and 10, North Carolina State. Timmy Johnson hit by Gary Peter Kuski. Timmy Johnson, the trailing back. Now, George, is that the sort of a play that is typical of this offense? Right. This is the veer play off the fake and a dive. It's beautifully played by Penn State and stringing it out, allowing the halfback Peter Kuski to come up and make the play here. That was beautiful. Gain three yards, second down seven, North Carolina State 40. Timmy Johnson is close to a first down where Bruce Clark made the tackle. Now, on the first down play, George, it appeared Penn State was almost in man-to-man -man for each of those backs. Yes, they will play it like that and change up, Ray. Each defensive man has one particular man on offense, the quarterback, the dive man, and the pitch man. It was a first down. Now, the tight end, Ricky Knowles, is wide to the right. Now, here, this alignment looks like Temple last week. Three wide receivers. 
Randy Sidler, number 75, made the stop on Ted Brown, number 23. Now, let's pick up Penn State defensively for you. Ron Crosby, 64, Randy Sidler, 75, Tony Petruccio, 99, and Bill Banks, number 85, are starting up front. That first down play was limited to three yards. It is second and seven with the ball at the 50. Knowles to the right, Moody to the right, Marshall to the left. Johnny Evans gets four yards. It'll be third and three. He ran into Sidler, 95. Rick Donaldson, number 92, who is starting in place of Hostetler today. Uh, right that time, that was a counter option where the quarterback starts in one direction to influence the inside linebackers so they can be sealed off and then comes back the opposite way. Moody goes to the right. Marshall to the left. It is third down and three. Fumble. Penn State has it. Bernard Robinson. Uh, again, there's a fake and a dive. Evans comes back out here to run the option play. Now, a great play by Banks. Banks strings it out and allows the Robinson to come up to recover the fumble. That's one of the dangers of the Veer offense. Steve Geis at tailback, 29. Bob Torrey at fullback, 39. At the North Carolina State, 49-yard line. Geis. Geis gets about four yards on first down. The big running back from Lock Haven. For Penn State up front, Keith Dorney is the center. The guards are Argenta, 69, and Shukri, 58. Reiner and Benson, the tackles. Second down, six. Geis. Geis is within about a yard and a half of a first down at the North Carolina State 41-yard line. The starting tight end for Penn State is number 82, Mickey Schuler. Now Greg Kubis is in the game, wearing number 84, double tight ends, third and two. Geis led the blocking. This is a fullback slant to Torrey to the side of the motion. The motion loosened up the defensive end, gets a good block from Geis, and takes it in real tough. He's been looking good the past few weeks. First down, Penn State at the 30-yard line of North Carolina State. Fitzky in motion. <laughs> About two yards for Geis to the 28-yard line. Now North Carolina State's defense. A five-man front on most occasions. Jeff Easter, 81. Tom Prongay, 94. A.W. Jenkins, the middle guard, 55. Jim Henderson of Apollo, number 90. Ron Banther, number 82. That's the front five for North Carolina State. It is second down and eight. Very close to a first down. It is a first down at the North Carolina State 18-yard line on the power running of Bob Torrey. That time the fullback ran a, a misdirection against the motion. Now, North Carolina State seems to be playing man-to-man -man in the secondary. Watch how they jump around when the man goes in motion. Pitsky to the left, Marty to the right. Geis. Geis gets almost five yards on first down, and the North Penn State line is coming off the ball well. Excellent. Now, this is just a lead play. He's looking for the soft spot. It's zone block, and we mean by that each man, offensive man, will block the man in his area. And uh, Penn State's line right now is controlling the line of scrimmage. About four yards on first down is second and six at the North Carolina State 14. And there was some kind of a mix up there, and I think Penn State's going to be penalized. 
think Argento went offside as a defensive one. Okay, listen now, Roy. You decline a penalty, it's third down and five. Otherwise, it's second down and about 11. We'll take second 11. All right, you got it. You heard, you heard the decision by North Carolina State accepting the penalty, which will set up a second down and 11 at the 19-yard line. Here's the referee. Illegal motion on the quarterback offense, second down and 11. Marty and Fitzky are both to the right. This is Geis. Jeff Easter, the defensive end, number 81, made a fine play. It is going to be third down at the 26-yard line at about 18. All right, that was the fake to the fullback and a quick screen to the tailback that uh, Penn State ran so effectively last week, but North Carolina State had it defended well. With 9.43 left to play in the first quarter, Mike Gooman checks in at tailback, number 24, third and 18. Gilman gets absolutely nothing. It is fourth down. And Tony Capazzoli will come in and apparently try to put three points on the board. They tried a little draw play there, hoping to catch North Carolina State playing pass. This will be about a 44-yard attempt. Donovan the holder with a crosswind. Kubis will snap the ball. It is considerably short. North Carolina State holds. Timeout on the field. Penn State nothing. North Carolina State nothing. We'll be back right after this. We move to further action with Penn State in control of the football. We move to further action with North Carolina State in control of the football. After a Penn State field goal was short, North Carolina State takes over at the Wolfpack 20-yard line. First and 10, no score, first quarter. Three, four, three, five. fumbled. Tony Petruccio has recovered. This is a play action pass off for counter option. Now Evans wanted to throw the ball, couldn't find a receiver, gets hit from the back and gets stripped. Another break for Penn State. Penn State has the ball at the North Carolina State 22 yard line. First and 10. Draw play with Geis and middle guard Jenkins played it very well. The middle guard in this play plays off the center's block perfectly. It's a draw play with the fullback leading up. I think Penn State's going to have to put the ball in the air. Loss of a yard, second down 11 at the North Carolina State 23. Fitzky is to the far side, Motti to the near side. Double wing. <laughs> Intended for Torrey. It is going to be third down. And tackle number 94, Tom Frangay, put the pressure on Pusina. In the secondary for North Carolina State, Number two, Woodrow Wilson. Number eight, Alan Baltris are at the corners, and deep are Mike Nall and Mike Miller. This is Schuler. Schuler at the one yard line, maybe a one foot line. 
North Carolina is in a 5-2 with man-to-man -man coverage. Now watch them try to pick Shula coming across. He just outruns the defender here. Fusina takes a lot of time, lays it up, puts it up there beautifully, and it's a, a, a fine reception. The ball is about six inches away from the end zone. A penalty marker is down. I do believe you see us having trouble with the snap. North Carolina State was offside. So it's still first down, and it's going to be about three inches closer. Offside at North Carolina State. So we have 8.04 left to play in the first quarter. First and goal, just a couple of inches away from a touchdown. Usina. Touchdown. Good second effort here. It's just a sneak right over the center. Keeps driving, twists. Gets the plane and the ball over the uh, goal line for a touchdown. Our, our, our viewers should watch the man in motion that Penn State's using. It's giving uh, North Carolina State a lot of trouble because they're playing man-to-man -man coverage. Donovan will hold for Capazzoli. Capazzoli is on target. Timeout on the field. Penn State 7, North Carolina State nothing. We'll be back right after this. We move to action later in the first quarter. We move to action later in the second quarter. We move to action later in the third quarter. We move to action later in the fourth quarter. We move to further action in the same drive. Carolina State has turned the ball over twice by way of fumbles. Penn State capitalized on the second one. And here is Barr's kick with Woodrow Wilson waiting at the eight. He is written down by Scott Hedinger. Just short of the North Carolina State 30-yard line. It'll be at the 28-yard line of the Wolfpack. Number nine, big Johnny Evans at quarterback. This, by the way, is Andy Bailey's final appearance before a home crowd, our Nittany Lion. Oh, we're going to miss him for sure. Number seven, Moody to the right. Number 12, Marshall to the left. Ricky Adams, number 44, is in the backfield. Well, did we have another fumble? Yes! Yep. I Ron Crosby recovered this one. Well, you know, Ray, uh, Penn State's playing a 5-2 defense, like we call a monster, and they're pinching their tackles down to take that read off, which is supposed to be part of the veer, and that's causing some problems with the North Carolina State offense. It was either Matt Millen or Ron Crosby who recovered that fumble at the North Carolina State 29-yard line. Matt Millen. Yeah. Do you see now? And this is a fake of an off tackle play, play action. He's looking for Cephalo coming across from the right to the left here on man to man coverage. He just outruns his man, picks the ball off. Now watch this running. He spins, drifts off a tackle, keeps going, busts to the outside, and takes it in. Beautiful execution. I counted, he was hit by seven men, and Capazzoli is on target again. Bruce Bannon, 
What are your thoughts on the sidelines? The biggest factor in a game so far has not been how well the teams have been doing, but the mistakes. Penn State had a chance to score. They made a mistake, a penalty right down on the goal line. North Carolina State fumbled twice and set up both of Penn State's touchdowns. So these are the mistakes that are, are actually determining which team is doing the best. Now back up to the box. Ray, I, I, don't, I don't think North Carolina State can play these fine Penn State receivers man-to-man -man too much like that because if you get enough time, they're going to run away from them. That's what happened in that play. Well, I, on, the, on the replay of that touchdown, George, I counted, and seven North Carolina State players either hit him or touched Got him. Got their hands on him. Matt Millen, by the way, is officially credited with recovering that last fumble. Ricky Adams. One thing I would like to point out right now as Glenn Zumbach made that tackle. Last year, Penn State led North Carolina State 14 to nothing and lost the game. They have a reputation as a come from behind football team. First and 10, North Carolina State at the Wolfpack 37. Wide right is Crabtree and Stowe. This is Ted Brown. So we see a little bit of a change in strategy here on first down. John Evans pass complete to Ted Brown. I, here's that play of uh, to Cephal again. Let's count the tackles. Let's the fans count. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. A little bit there. Chase them. It's a good thing they didn't go over ten because I was in trouble. Seven people got it. Evans has a first down at midfield. Brought down by Randy Sidler. Now the starting linebackers for Penn State are Rick Donaldson, number 92, Bruce Clark, number 54, Matt Millen, number 60, and Kurt Allerman, number 53. Robinson and Hutton are the defensive halfbacks. Peter Kuski is the safety man. The ball is at the 50, first and 10, North Carolina State. He was trying to hit Jim Stowe, one of his wide receivers. Robinson was covering, but really nowhere close. It'll be second down and 10. Again, uh, North Carolina State's trying to do a little bit what Temple did. Three wide receivers to stretch the Penn State secondary as wide as they can. North Carolina State's offensive line, 77, Bill Druschel of Greensburg, Larry Chavis, number 67, Tom Lindner, the center, number 53, is from Bethlehem. Campbell, number 60, Fagan, number 75. It is second and 10. Bruce Clark was blitzing and nails Evans for a loss. Uh, this Bruce Clark on a backside blitz away from the two wide receivers. He's looking to throw. Here he comes. Got in clean. Puts him down. Loss on the play, seven yards. It is third and 17. And North Carolina State right now is asking for a timeout. So we have a timeout on the field. Penn State 14, North Carolina State nothing. We'll be back right after this. Penn State was unable to move the ball, so they punted to North Carolina State. North Carolina State was unable to move the ball, so they punted to Penn State. After both teams exchanged punts, we pick up the action. We move to further action. coach and in his first year at North Carolina State is young 31 year old Bo Ryan that is uh, Ryan right there he played at Ohio State coached among other places as an assistant at North Carolina State at Arkansas at Ohio State he is a fine young coach I think he's the youngest uh, major college coach in the country right Crabtree to the left Knowles to the left Marshall to the right third and 17 
Neil Hutton. Neil Hutton took it away from Elijah Marshall. That's the fourth turnover by North Carolina State. Uh, Ray, this, that's one I don't think Joe... Uh, uh, I, Penn State rushes only three men this time. And Evans got a lot of time, but he can't find anybody open. Tries to throw it deep. Now, it was third and 17. They would have had a punt, and he catches the ball down on his own around 10-yard line, you know? So, uh, however, we got the ball. All right. Bob Torrey at fullback, number 39. Mike Duman, number 24, at tailback. Double wing now. Torrey. Torrey gets about eight yards before Richard Wheeler out of the secondary made the stop. Ray, Torrey got a great block from Gooman in the slot. Who took the end one-on-one -on -one and turned him in, enabling Torrey to go to the outside. Gain eight yards. Second down two at the Penn State 18. We're in the final six minutes of the first quarter. Penn State is leading 14 to nothing. The Wolfpack has turned over the ball four times. This is Mike Gooman. First down. Mike, Mike Gooman carries. Miller of Easton, number 42, out of the North Carolina State secondary, made that tackle. First down, Penn State. He's the second G in the GG boys, and we know what he can do. He makes things happen. Wide left, Maudi to the near side, Cephalo. Gooman, only about one yard before he ran into number 54 from Pittsburgh, North Carolina State's Bill Cower. It'll be second and nine at the Penn State 25. I, want, I hope our viewers are watching how North Carolina State is running people all over the field to compensate for the motion man. Marty is out to the left. <laughs> Couple of yards for Bob Torrey. This is a handoff to Torrey right up the middle. Uh, Shookley pulls and tries to trap. The middle G Jenkins played it pretty well that time, but it's a good takeoff by the offensive line. Third down, seven. <laughs> Torrey. Not quite a first down. It's going to be fourth and one or two where Richard Carter made the tackle, so we're going to have a putt by Scott Fitzke, apparently, for the first time today. Oh, was Shuler open on that one? Ooh. Woodrow Wilson is a single returner back around the 25-yard line. Kuba snaps the ball. Wilson at the 25. Good run back out to the 43-yard line of North Carolina State. Robinson made the tackle. Say, you know what we're going to have at halftime today? We're going to be taking you behind the scenes and we'll show you what happens in television's mobile unit during our telecast. I've been wanting to know that for years, what goes on down there. <laughs> okay, North Carolina State at the Wolfpack 43. Moody, wide right. Johnny Evans. About three yards. Bill Banks brought him down, number 85, and number 53, Kurt Allerman. Penn State's making, mixing up their defense. is playing a 5-2 defense and a 5-3 defense, so young Evans cannot read uh, the defense the way he wants to read it. Second and seven. A marker down as Johnson carries. But a marker is down at the 40-yard line. 
Knocked out of bounds by Allison. Illegal motion will nullify the run. 23. Captain Blue. They're in motion. It'll be second down and 13. Otherwise, it's third down and about two. Second and 13. All right. That was the voice of referee Bill Parkinson. Motion white. Second down. Ray, there's a big hole over the middle of uh, Penn State secondary, and I look for uh, North Carolina straight to, uh, State to try to throw some, to somebody over the middle. Number 52, Pete Harris, is in the game as a linebacker for Penn State. Second and 13. The big tight end, Knowles. Peter Kusky and Millen made the tackle. But shades of last week against Temple. Boy, was well, he open. They got the defense stretched. There's a big hole over the middle. They picked it up. He lays it right in there. You, you can't give him that much room. First down, North Carolina State at the Penn State 37. Marshall goes right. Moody comes left. Brown and Johnson, the setbacks. This is number 30, who just checked into the game, Billy Ray Vickers. North Carolina Billy State Ray is Vickers going guard. to a misdirection type of an attack now, hoping to influence and confuse the Penn State's linebackers. Four-yard gain, second down six at the Penn State 33 and a half. Justin. Final two minutes of the first quarter, Penn State leading 14-0. Down to the 30 goes Billy Ray Vickers, where he's met by Petruccio and Sidler, the two tackles. Billy Ray Vickers on the carry. For North Carolina State, a third down and three and a half. And into the game goes Mike Crabtree, a wide receiver, number six. Hi, Andy. I think they'll fake the option and try to dump it off again over the middle. The tight end, Knowles, is on the left side. They do not get the first down. Johnson carried. Just came into the game, number 21. It's fourth and about one as I look at it here, uh, George. Uh, well, you got better eyes than I have, Ray. Uh, let's see what they do. They're going to go for it. Fourth down, one at the Penn State 28. Evans gets the first down at the 24 yard line. Big, strong Johnny Evans. That's four first downs for North Carolina State. Billy Ray Vickers and Timmy Johnson are the runners. Ted Brown is not in the game, they're leading runner. Whether he's hurt or not, we don't know. We don't know, Ray, but uh, Brown is, uh, has... Vickers ran into Randy Sidler, and the result is a gain of about a yard and a half. See, they hope, they're hoping the Penn State inside linebackers are going to go with the quarterback's movement, and they're trying to bring that back, back across the brain. Now Ted Brown checks into the backfield, but he's not going to get a chance to run until the second quarter comes around. That's the end of the first quarter. With a score, Penn State 14, North Carolina State nothing. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> there was no further scoring, and the quarter ended with a score, Penn State 14, North Carolina State nothing. We'll be back right after this.
Penn State is leading 14 to nothing. North Carolina State has a second down and nine at the Penn State 24 as we get ready for the start of the second quarter. This is the first real scoring threat by the Wolfpack. North Carolina State turned over the ball four times in the first quarter. Penn State was able to capitalize twice and score touchdowns with Capazzoli adding the extra points. Marshall goes left. Moody comes right. Brown and Johnson, the setbacks. Evans on second down. Ted Brown could not hold on. It'll be third and nine. They try to hit Teddy Brown coming out of the backfield here from a rollout action. Had his man beat, drops the ball. So now North Carolina State has a third down and nine at the Penn State 24-yard line. Marshall goes left. He's one of their leading receivers. Moody comes to the right, number seven. This is Ted Brown. A penalty marker is down. The ball was tipped by Ron Crosby, but a marker down at the 25-yard line. Now, well, State had the blitz on here. Flag on the play. Illegal procedure on a white blue captain. 71. Blue captain, where are you? Illegal procedure, five yards would be. Fourth down and nine or third and 14? Fourth and nine, you decline. Number 71, illegal procedure, decline. Fourth down, 71, pull off the line. The illegal procedure penalty is declined. It is fourth down. And Jay Sherrill is going to try for a 41-yard field goal. The holder is Kevin Scanlon, a quarterback from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Jay Sherrill will attempt a 41-yard field goal. It has the distance. And it hits the upright and is not good. Gary Peter Kuski almost blocked it. Bruce Bannon, your thoughts? I was very surprised to see that Penn State is utilizing three freshman linebackers today. It's not that head coaches think that freshmen aren't good football players. The problem is, is that usually they cause mistakes, and these mistakes lead to costly errors. Um, I've been watching them pretty closely so, so far. They're doing... This is Mike Gooman behind a block by Algaro. Mike Gooman carries. Mike Gooman carries for five. The ball, of course, was spotted at the 20 on the touchback when the Back field goal five, attempt Jeff. hit the upright. Defensive end Jeff Easter made the stop, but not before the talented freshman from Bethlehem, Gooman, picks up five yards. The first so, quarter, Penn State had four first downs, North Carolina State four, but Penn State had 101 total yards to 59. Second and five at the Penn State 25. Fitzke to the near side. This is Gooman, and he has a first down at the 31-yard line. First down, Penn State. Jeff Easter again made the tackle. That was just a draw play or crossing action. Boomer gets a good block on the left side of his line, makes a good cut. Tony Algaro, number 33, the fullback. This is Gooman. He almost broke it. Now you know why he's one of my men. This is what we call a breakback play. Watch Gooman on this. Gets five blocking from the corny and the left guard. Gets hit, keeps his balance, turns it on. Fine run. First down, Penn State 46. Schroeder. Nope. It is ruled that Schroeder did not have the necessary control inbounds. This is Schroeder coming across. It's man-to-man -man coverage. It is very difficult to defend men like this. He's open, comes back to the ball, but he doesn't have complete possession. And that was the ruling, uh, official's ruling. Incomplete pass, second and 10 at the Penn State 46. 
Richard Wheeler, number 28, is in at free safety now for North Carolina State. That's a recent substitution. Up the middle, Al Carroll. Three yards, it'll be second down, third down, seven. I'm sorry, that was Bob Torrey who just came in, number 39. Hello there. I think you see North Carolina State change its coverage to what we call a two free safeties uh, type of a defense. North Carolina State has added a fifth defensive back, Wilson, has taken out the middle guard, Jenkins. It is third and seven. Time for screen. Pitsky. So it will be fourth down and pump formation time. So Fitzke will be punting. North Carolina State will have Larry Everhart back. Woodrow Wilson back at the 10-yard line, number two. Turn to the left coming up. Right Fair catch, 11-yard line. Fitzke does a good job as Wilson he elects not to run it back. It'll be spotted at the North Carolina State 12. There's a timeout on the field. With a score, Penn State 14. North Carolina State nothing. We'll be back right after this. Penn State was penalized, so we moved to further action in the same drive. North Carolina State was penalized, so we moved to further action in the same drive. New uh, personnel in for Penn State. We'll tell you about them in just a moment. This is Evans. And here is Ted Brown. Gary Peter Kuski possibly saved a touchdown. All right, Ray, this is what this is what Brown does so well. They run the option play, they give it to him to the side of the twins. The linebacker's out, respecting the two wide receivers, and he almost took it all away. Penn State's linebackers now are Donaldson, 92, Wanamaker, 47, Suey, number 65. The ball at the Penn State, 49. Brown gets two yards. We ran into Randy Sittler and Bill Banks. On the side of the two receivers, Penn State's going to have to disguise how they're going to play that. One time the linebacker can go out, but next time he has to come in. Or, or else they'll check off when he's out and give the ball off. If he's in, they'll check off and throw the ball like they did over the middle before. Tom DePasso, number 95, is a linebacker in the game now. Second down, eight at the Penn State 47. Evans is nailed at the line of scrimmage by Ron Crosby, 64. Bill Banks, number 85. Here's a look from behind. Watch the fine play here by Crosby and Banks. They just, he has no place to go, Evans. And injured on the play for North Carolina State. I have not been able to pick up his number. I think it's their tight end, Ricky Knowles, number 80. Is that who it is, George? Yes, it is. It's, and he's a good one. Uh, that run of Brown put him over 1,000 yards. He now has 1,015 yards on the year. North Carolina State is going to be faced with a third and 10 at the Penn State 49 as Knowles leaves the game. Neil Hutton has been replaced by number 30, sophomore Joe Dimenick at a defensive halfback position. Third and 10. Robinson and Dimenick, the defensive halfbacks. Peter Kuski, the safety man. Wide left is Crabtree. To the near side is Marshall. Third and ten. Oh, my goodness, was Jim Stowe open. But Evans overthrew him, and it's fourth down. They brought Stowe across the field from the top of the screen there. They must have seen the Temple game, because that's the pattern was open for Temple last week. So fourth down, punt formation time. Johnny Evans is one of the top punters in the country. He averages around 45 yards a punt. Mm -hmm. 
They're going to run. Here's Ricky Adams. He has a first down. Randy Sidler finally made the tackle, but North Carolina State has a big threat going at the Penn State 20 yard line. Uh, State should have been aware of this, looking for this. There's a big hole. The defense is not alert. He almost took this all away. That's a big first down. That's the second time this year that's happened, Ray. Much early in the season. Moody is to the left, Marshall to the near side. Kent Brown, about three yards to the 17. Ran into Wanamaker. It'll be second down seven. Bill Druschel of Greensburg was out of the game for a little while. He just came back in at a tackle. Two wide receivers. Vickers, number 30 in the backfield, along with Brown. Vickers to the 14. It's going to be third and four. And Randy Sidler met the ball carrier at the 14-yard line. 14-0, Penn State leading. North Carolina State has fumbled three times. Penn State has intercepted once. Third down, four. This is Ted Brown. Close to a first down. Peter Kuski ran number 23 out of bounds. First and goal. This is the option play. Fakes it off, takes it to far left, as far as he can out to the outside. It's a good block by the wide receiver on Robinson. He comes over, keeps it from going in for a score, but close to the first down. It is a first down with the length of the ball just inside the 10. It's first and goal. Moody comes to the near side, number seven. Marker down, might have been illegal motion. Vickers, the ball carrier. Yes. Three arrows going through soon, number 30 in the white. Captain. First and 15, second down about nine. First and 15. We'll take first and 15. All right. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Are you surprised at that? 30? Yes, I am. I would have said uh, second and nine is the to toughest nine yards in football down there. First and goal. All right. Joe DeAnge, number 97 now, checks into the defensive line. He'll be on the left side for Penn State. It is first and goal at the 15. Johnson has replaced Vickers. Tom DePasso made a fine play defensively, but this big, strong quarterback gains four yards at second and goal at the 11th. Start off as a counter option. Penn State sent everybody, and he's caught from behind by DePasso. That was a good play. Matt Millen, number 60, replaces DePasso. Crabtree to the left, Marshall to the near side, second and goal at the 11. No game. Joe DeAnge played it very well. Third and goal. Again, this is a counter -rush. Watch the quarterback step one way, then come back out. He's trying to influence the linebackers, but he doesn't fool him this time. The end is in perfect position to shut him off. So it is third and goal, not quite at the 10 yard line. 8.20 left first half. Penn State is leading 14 to nothing. Will Evans go to the air? He has Moody to the left. He has Marshall to the right. Watch for the tight end coming across. This is Brown. At the four, it's going to be fourth down. Now, will North Carolina State go for a touchdown, or will they go for three points? Ray, somebody blew an assignment. He was supposed to be covered man on win man by a linebacker. And North Carolina State has a player down. Is it Brown? It is Ted Brown, their truly great running back. Uh, what? Ladies and gentlemen, watch this roll-eye action type of pass. Watch Brown come out of there clean. 
I know somebody has to have him man for man because man to man coverage out there. There's nobody there. Brown is still receiving attention. Announcers on this telecast are contracted by Total Communication Systems, and any use of this program without the consent of Total Communication Systems is prohibited. Brown is leaving the game. It is fourth and goal at the Penn State four and a half yard line. Seven minutes, 52 seconds left to play in the first half. And Penn State is leading 14 to nothing, and they're going to go for the touchdown. They're not going to go for a three pointer. Well, this far behind, Ray, uh, I'm sure the, uh, uh, Coach Ryan figures he's got to get six points. So the clock begins to run. Moody comes to the near side. This is a flood set. Evans still has the ball. Moody, touchdown. Moody was all alone. Great. I, this is a fake of an option from a loaded set. Now Robinson lets Moody all, uh, go. He comes up to make the play. Uh, Dimonick, by the way, not, right up in here, got his both feet in. College only needs one foot in. Now Scanlon will hold for Cheryl's extra point try. Cheryl is on target. Timeout on the field. Penn State 14, North Carolina State 7. We'll be back right after this. Here's the TD from a different angle. Now watch, he, he's going to throw the ball. He wants to throw the ball. The halfback comes up and leaves that receiver all alone. That's a no, no, no. So shades of last year, George. Penn State led 14-0 last year, and North Carolina State came on to win the game by a single point. Well, let's see. Who's in the middle back there for Penn State? Rich Motti in the middle. Scott Pitsky to the right, Tom Donovan to the left. Seven minutes, 32 seconds left to play in the first half. And in this home finale for 1976, we have a football game. Cheryl will kick off. Boy, oh, great kick all the way over the end line. Penn State will start from the Penn State 20. It almost went to Harrisburg, that kick. So despite turning over the ball four times, North Carolina State, by virtue of a run out of punt formation and a defensive lapse on a scoring play, trailed by only seven. Ray, this is going to give him a tremendous lift. All right, Max Suey, number 32 at tailback. Tony Alguero at fullback. Matt Suey, about two yards, that's all. Ran into linebacker Bill Cower, number 54. Young man playing for North Carolina State out of Pittsburgh. Alguero goes out of the game. Bob Torrey checks in at fullback. Second down eight at the Penn State 22. Marty and Fitzky are the wide receivers. Schuler, first down at the 39 yard line. Mike Miller of Easton made the tackle. Kyle Wesco of Bethlehem helped out. Lucina does a good job looking over the field. His shoe and a little turn in over the middle, which is often open against this type of defense. <laughs> Schuler was shaken up a bit, and Andy Oncotts, number 86, has replaced him at tight end. First down at the Penn State 39. Suey. Two yards. 
yards, second and eight at the 41. Ran in the middle guard, A.W. Jenkins. Jenkins. Jenkins just plumb beat Dorney on that play. Just a little over six minutes left to play in the first half. This, by the way, is all University Day here at Beaver Stadium. Suey goes over to the right as a wing back. This is Torrey. Well played in way. Two very tough yards. It's going to be third and six. And a defensive end, Doug Cullen, we haven't seen him before, made that stop for North Carolina State. A couple of new defensive backs go in now on third down and five and a half. I see a screen or a draw play here. Torrey and Sui will line up directly behind Cusina. First down at the North Carolina State 37. There's Morty coming across from the bottom of your screen now over the middle, which we said was open. And as, as Fusino got that rifle loaded today, he's firing that ball. So Penn State has a first down at the North Carolina State 37. was out of bounds. This is, this is a great catch, but let's watch his feet. Has to have one foot in, I don't. Out of bounds. I don't know. It's uh, back pretty close, pretty close, but the tight end was also open on that. All right, second and 10 at the North Carolina State 37. Cephalo to the right, Marty to the left. Double wing. Torrey gets it to about the 34-yard line, where it will be third down and seven. And linebacker Kyle Wesco, number 57, stopped the play. I think they can hit the tight end, curling over the middle just about any time they want it. But uh, this boy Jenkins playing on Dorney is giving him a lot of problems. Third down, seven. The clock running. Four and a half minutes left in the first half. Penn State leading 14 to 7. <laughs> Almost intercepted by Richard Carter. I think there was a blitz on that time. They blitzed, they were in man to man coverage, and I think you seen a you seen had a little trouble reading this here. Watch him. Comes out here to his left. Can't find his primary target. He just drills it over really into a lot of traffic. Fourth down, Fitzky in punt formation. He's aiming for the right corner. Touchback. So North Carolina State will have it at the 20. There's a timeout on the field. Penn State 14, North Carolina State 7. We'll be back right after this. After a Penn State punt into the end zone, first down North Carolina State at the Wolfpack 20. This is Ted Brown. And a marker is down. Randy Sittler made the stop along with Ron Crosby, but a penalty marker is okay. on the field. White captain. Get the number, uh, Rich. First, first and five or second and one, first and five. First and five. Left tackle, what's your number? Left tackle number. Left tackle, what's your number? Number 99, a blue offside, first down and five. First and five. So Petruccio is called for offside with four minutes and one second left to play in the first half. Bill Crummy is in at a defensive halfback now, number 23. And Joe Dimonick is the other defensive halfback. First and five at the North Carolina State 25. Peter 
McCuskey almost intercepted. It was intended for Dave Moody. This is the same play they scored on. He fakes the outside option, but he's looking to throw the ball. This time they got it defended perfectly. Almost get the interception. Right here. It is second and five at the 25 of North Carolina State. Teddy Bill. Brown. Excuse me, Ray. Teddy Brown is averaging 10 yards per carry. You're going to have to cut that down. Fumble. Bill Crummy has it. That's the fourth fumble and fifth turnover by North Carolina State. They're trying to hand the ball off to Brown on this. He's reading it, and it's not a clean handoff. He gets stripped there. Bill Banks. By Banks, and Penn State has another recovery. Now, Penn State's going to have to try to get at least three out of this. Three minutes, 39 seconds left in the first half. Cephalo to the right. This is Matt Suey. Inside. <laughs> Matt Suey all the way to the 16-yard line. Georgie must have heard you to say cut inside. I got... I got great powers, Ray. All right, here's just a sweep. They got the whole right side of the line collapsed. He gets a fine block from Torrey, but look at the inside seam here. Nice running, though. Good cut back. Picks up. Oh, God, coming across. First down at the 16. Torrey loses a yard. It will be second down and 11, and from the secondary, Richard Wheeler and Mike Miller played that run very well. Less than three minutes now left in the first half, and Jimmy Cephalo brings in the play on second down 11. Open, but he had to bring that ball down a little lower on the numbers. That's where you want to throw any comeback type of a pass like that. So Cephalo goes out and Scott Fitzke brings in the play selection. Gee, Ray, I think a screen here might go all the way. A fifth defensive back, Woodrow Wilson, is in for North Carolina State. It is fourth down, and Tony Capazzoli will try to pad the Penn State lead. Now, this is a very important field goal, Ray, because I feel a team that gets three scores will probably win this game. Three or four scores. Two minutes, 28 seconds left in the first half. Donovan will hold, 34-yard attempt. He has the distance. Good. It's now 17 to 7, and I would have to believe that our Bruce Bannon has something on his mind. Bruce? This is a really exciting game down here for the one reason that neither of these teams are giving, giving up. The momentum is changing from series to series. North Carolina came back, scored. They held Penn State down here, but Penn State's still driving. Now back up to the box. Cena is 5 out of 12 for 91 yards. He's thrown a ball with a lot of velocity. That time he threw just a little too hard. Got a little loft on it. He might have had a reception. Matt Barr has the ball teed up. The scoreboard clock shows 2 minutes 23 seconds left to play in the first half. Ricky Adams will be in the middle. Scott Wade to his left and Timmy Johnson to his right. Did he touch that? Adams at the five. Ricky Adams. Boy, is he powerful. You know who knocked him out of bounds? Matt Barr. 
He might want to go back to the soccer field after that one. Boy, he really got nailed at Matt Barr. But North Carolina State has it at the North Carolina State 35 on a powerful run back by Ricky Adams. See, this is awfully good running. Watch this guy. Off, yeah, <laughs> Crabtree to the left. Marshall to the right. Adams stays in the game along with Vickers. This is Vickers to the Penn State 49. Millen and Otterman made the tackle. Uh, this is a delay pass to the back. Vickers coming out. He lets the linebackers drop deep, hits Vickers underneath the zone, and all these North Carolina State backs can run. First down at the Penn State 49. Batted in the air. Ray, I think a lineman caught that ball. Yes, it was tipped by Randy Sidler, and I think Cecil Campbell wound up with it. Now, there is a loss of seven yards on this play, so it is second and 17 at the North Carolina State 44. A minute 20 left in the first half. Oh, did Rick Donaldson hit Evans? Rick Donaldson was blitzing. This is the beauty of a blitz. Watch Donaldson come from the top of your screen. And don't think that Mr. Evans won't know he's around. He's looking over his field, and he gives him a good shot. I have to do that once in a while. It is now third and 17. To about the 50, it's going to be fourth down. Randy Sidler and Tony Petruccio made the tackle. A minute and nine left in the first half. By the way, in coming weeks, we'll have some familiar Penn State names and faces as our on-the-field analysts, Franco Harris and Jack Ham. How about that for a couple of our analysts, huh? Be nice if you could put them back in the game once in a while. <laughs> Okay, with a minute and nine left in the half, it appears to be punt formation time. Incidentally, as we look to the end of the season, at that Pitt Penn State game on Friday night, November 26th, a Pittsburgh Dodge Player of the Year award is going to be presented to the outstanding Penn State player. A scholarship award will be presented in his name in what we honestly believe is going to be a truly exciting finale to the season. The Pittsburgh Dodge Player of the Year Award will be announced that night. It'll be tough selecting uh, the proper candidate, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, North Carolina State ran out of a punt formation once today, and as it turned yeah. out, it kept the drive alive. You know, uh, Penn for the They're going for it, Ray. Uh, Fourth down and 12, so no punt formation. The whistle blew. North Carolina State tried to do something there to catch Penn State unawares. Penn State had called a timeout just before the ball was snapped. Well, Joe is obviously thinking he's going to get the ball one more time. We've got a couple of good sideline cuts. He still might come up with another field goal. That was a good call. All right, now Kurt Alderman went over to talk with the Penn State coaching staff. It is fourth and 12 at the North Carolina State 49-yard line. They want to make sure they're ready for any trick play here. They might throw, they might run. North Carolina State's touchdown came on a fourth and goal at the four-yard line when they decided they didn't want three points, and they threw for a touchdown to Dave Moody. We've been remarking about the wind today, and it's as North Carolina State has the ball right now, it is blowing right, left. Johnny Evans is over talking with 
Bo Ryan. And we told you that at halftime we'd have something special for you. We'll find out what really goes on in TV's mobile unit during a game. All right, fourth and 12. He does not get the first down. Sidler and Donaldson make the tackle, and Penn State gets the ball again with about a minute left. And uh, they're in good position to put some more points up there. The ball is at the Penn State 44. I'll be honest with you, I do not quite understand North Carolina State's strategy here. Neither do I, Ray. Uh, I think the middle is open, as I said several times, and uh, Penn State should be able to negotiate some kind of a completion over there. Monty goes to the right, Cephalo is to the near side. Mike Gooman. All the way to the North Carolina State 39. Mike Miller made the tackle. Penn State has a sequence of plays Gooman, going. Gooman shows his quickness of feet here, Ray. It was a big a sign of any good back. He must have quick feet. Now, there was no huddle. Nicky Schuler was hit by Fusina on a little down and out. The clock shows 44 seconds left in the half with the ball at the North Carolina State 31 yard line. In Penn State's two minutes drill, they don't huddle, Ray. They, they'll check off on the line of scrimmage, but they will not huddle. Penn Let's State go. has one timeout remaining. It is second down and two at the North Carolina State 31. Mike Gooman. the 13-yard line. This is a beautiful play. They hit Gooman on a delay, letting the defense go back. Rena makes a fine block here. This boy can cut. Almost takes an all away. To the end zone. Trying to hit Scott Fitzke, I believe. Yes, number 46. But that'll stop the clock. Second and 10 at the North Carolina State between the 13 and 14 yard line with 28 seconds left that, in the that half. That play was designed possibly to get a completion for the touchdown, but always to be able to stop the clock as the quarterback was going to the sidelines. Gooman now has 66 yards rushing. 28 seconds left in the half. Marty to the left, Cephalo to the left. Second and 10. Gooman a wing back now. Trip formation. a penalty marker down. Ray, this is a trip formation. Three receivers on one side. Chuck's trying to find a, uh, an open receiver here. Let's see if he goes out of bounds. Yes. It looks like he stepped out, yes. But the penalty now hurts their field goal chances. The ball is at the 17-yard line. It is third and 13. 22 seconds left in the half as Fitzke brings in the play. Motti is out wide right. Fitzke to the near side. Mike Gooman to the 10. Now Penn State asks for a timeout. That's the last timeout. 15 seconds left. Under the circumstances, that was a good call. It might have broken all the way. Plus, it keeps the ball close to the goal, close to the field goal. Here they come. All right. Tony Capazzoli comes in. He has been successful one time today. And with 15 seconds left, he'll try to send Penn State into the dressing room, leading by 20 to 7. It will be a 28-yard attempt. Tom Donovan will, as usual, be the holder. He has a distance. Good again. 
Penn State leads by 13. Mother threw another peach around the fire after that one. <laughs> so North Carolina State's decision to run on fourth down near midfield. Backfired. Backfired very much. That could be very important. No, Ray, uh, uh, North Carolina State has been making excellent yardage on their kickoff returns and on their punts so far. So Matt Barr has it teed up. The last time he kicked off, he had to make the tackle on Ricky Adams. That's right. This time, Woodrow Wilson is the deep man. Scott Wade, Timmy Johnson are on the wings with 10 seconds left in the first half. Wilson at the 15. Out to the 34-yard line with six seconds left in the half, and Chuck Benjamin made the tackle on the kickoff. Strong arm Johnny Evans, the quarterback. Turnovers have been very, very costly to North Carolina State. Peter Kuski is all the way back inside the Penn State 30. Elijah Marshall was the intended receiver with two seconds now left in the half. They, they only rushed three men and kept everybody else back. Just don't get them along. So we'll probably have just the one more play, barring a penalty. Paul Suey is in the game as a linebacker. Gary Peter Kuski is going to be about 40 yards behind the line with Crummy and Dimonick, the defensive halfbacks, back about 25 yards. One second. There's the end of the half. That was the big tight end, Jim Stowe, the intended receiver, but that is the end of the first half. With a score, Penn State 20, North Carolina State 7. We'll be back right after this. There was no further scoring, and the half ended with a score, Penn State 20, North Carolina State 7. We'll be back right after this. North Carolina State having won the toss before the start of the game and electing to receive the football North Carolina State will kick off to Penn State as we get ready for the start of the second half. You know overall George I think the weatherman has been very kind for this time of year here in central Pennsylvania. I think so too. I you know we were a little worried about snow with all those weather forecasts but it's a pleasant day here right now. Penn State will receive the football as we get ready to start the second half with Penn State leading by 20 to 7. Sherrill will kick off. In the first half, Penn State outgained North Carolina State 233 to 172. This kick I don't think will be run back. Nope. Monty fields it deep in the end zone. Quickly in the first half, I think the predominant statistic, turnovers. North Carolina State 5, Penn State none. That's the point I was trying to make at half. They've had the better of the breaks. And uh, North Carolina State can come back at any time. Incidentally, Ron Hostetler has not played today. He's not even dressed for today's game. Tori at fullback. Steve Geis at tailback. Cephalo in motion. Steve Geis. Richard Wheeler of the secondary made the stop. 
individually in the first half. A straight lead play right up in the middle. Corey makes a fine block on a linebacker, and Steve really turns it on here. Good body leads, running with power. In the first half, Gooman picked up 72 yards from tailback. Torrey, 40 yards from fullback. Geis gets it out to the 36 for four yards. In the first half, Fusina, 6 of 13, 99 yards. Schuler caught eight, rather three passes for 47 yards. For North Carolina State, Ted Brown, their leading rusher, picked up 51 yards. For Penn State, second and six at the Penn State 36. Geis. Agenda comes back, wheels to the inside, and we got Benson out front. This is a perfect play. So Donovan will hold. Capazzoli will try for the 27th Penn State point. Capazzoli is on target yet again. So after one minute and five seconds of the second half, Penn State leads by 20. But we must keep in mind, North Carolina State in Johnny Evans has a strong arm quarterback who can not only run, he can throw, and he can throw well. We know what happened last week when Penn State got a quick score. They got flat for the rest of the half. Matt Barr will kick. Here's a sign of a team that's got killer instincts now. Penn State has North Carolina State down a bit. Now's the time to really put the heat on it and take them out of, out of victory range. Ricky Adams, who almost ran a kickoff back for a touchdown, was deep, but it's going to be Timmy Johnson, number 21. Here is that touchdown run again by Steve Geis. See to the, to the uh, uh, up top of your screen, two wide receivers there. Torrey makes the key block. Now, Geis follows his interference perfectly here. Makes the cut to the inside, back out to the outside. Good heady running. Reminds me of myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, North Carolina State. This is Adams. Ricky Adams gets a first down out to the North Carolina State 40. Now let's see if we can pick up some of these defensive players. As North Carolina State sends Moody to the left, he caught a touchdown pass from Evans today, and Elijah Marshall to the right. Dave Brown, two or three yards. Randy Sidler and Tony Petruccio are the tackles right now. Number 64, Ron Crosby is at one end. Number 85, Bill Banks is the other end. The linebackers are Rick Donaldson, Bruce Clark, Matt Millen, and Kurt Allerman. Joe Dimonick, Gary Peter Kuski, and Bill Crummy, the secondary. Second down, seven. Marker down, might have been offside. Penn State may have been offside. I think Petruccio's offside. Right, they're going to a counter option attack where the quarterback is stepping one way to influence the inside linebacker so the offensive line can seal him off and come him back and run the option to the outside. Chuck Benjamin, number 70, comes into the defense. Five yards against Penn State. The ball goes to the North Carolina State 49-yard line. It will be second down, one and a half yards away from a first down. Penn State offside. Second and one. Andy Bailey gets his usual workout. 
Ted Brown gets a first down to the Penn State 48, where Newcastle's Bruce Clark made the tackle. First down. You know, we mentioned in the first half, George, about that Pittsburgh Dodge Player of the Year is going to be named the night of the Pitt Penn State football game, and I think you said that's going to be a tough decision. And the more I think about it, that's going to be a really tough decision. It sure is. But that young man's name will be announced the night of the Pitt Penn State game, and a scholarship award will be presented in his name, Johnny Evans. Come on, Ted, Ted Brown. Come on, Ted. Gain of about eight yards where Allerman and Bruce Clark made the stop, and somebody's hurt. Under, under the circumstances, Clark makes a pretty good tackle here. He breaks down, got a good fast running halfback, gets a piece of him, brings him down. Guard Cecil Campbell, number 60, has been injured on the play. So we, of course, have a timeout on the field. The officials are conferring over at the near sideline. When play resumes, it'll be second and two North Carolina State at the Penn State 40. You know, Ray, last week when you flashed my picture on unsuspectingly, a lot of people called and thought the Martians had landed. <laughs> When did you, when did, what were your years at Brown, George? 47, 48, 49. Uh, Joe and I played under Rip Angle, a great coach, and we had a 7 and 2, 8 1 year, then Joe came up here with Rip. Oh, yes. Cecil Campbell has to be aided from the field, and he'll be replaced at right guard by Ed Calloway, number 63. I believe he is in there. We'll check on him. At any rate, second and two, North Carolina State, Penn State 40. Billy Joe Vickers. Crosby met Vickers, but I believe Vickers picked up a first down. Now, State better start covering the inside receiver and the twin side, or I believe North Carolina State is going to hit him over the middle again. North Carolina State's line now. Bill Druschel of Greensburg, 77. Larry Shavis, 67. Jim Richer at center, 51. Randy Cook has come in now at right guard. One of the officials, I think, is, is that Bill Parkinson? Yes, it is. The referee must have a nosebleed. Looks like his nose. Uh, well, yeah. I hope it's not an eye problem because it makes me nervous. Bruce Bannon, what's uh, what's on your mind right now? As I said before, there's three freshman linebackers and. When you have freshmen, it can lead to mistakes. But you have Kurt Alderman in there, who's a senior, potential All-American, who is the leader of the defense. And he seems to tie not only the entire defense together, but he gives confidence and poise to those young linebackers. Back to you, Ray. All right, well-spoken Bruce Bannon. Bill Parkinson still uh, requiring some first aid down on the field. North Carolina State picked up a first down on the last running play to the Penn State 38-yard line. You know, I'm trying to figure out that Miami of Florida football team. They're either very good, uh, they've scored some resounding one-sided wins. It's an explosive football team. And, of course, Penn State will take on Miami of Florida next Saturday night in Miami. Hey, we call those type of teams yo-yo teams. They're up or down. But they got a lot of potential. Well, it appears that Bill Parkinson's okay now. Well, we've had an unusual season. I don't think that last minute in Philadelphia last week will be duplicated in a long while, but we have not as yet had to have an official get uh, require medical attention during a game. This is a first. Uh -oh. Remember when Doc Blanchard ran over one years ago and broke his leg? The great Army fullback. I remember Doc it. Blanchard. I didn't remember that incident, though. Yes. Ran into an official that couldn't get out of the way. He broke his leg. Well, he's going to require uh, quite a rest here. Now, conceivably, we're going to... Bill, Bill Parkinson now will be replaced as the referee by one of the other officials. There's always an extra official, Ray, just in case th something like this happens. All right. First down, North Carolina State, Penn State 38-yard line. 
11 and a half minutes left third quarter. Blitz. Bruce Clark forced Johnny Evans to intentionally ground the ball. This is going to be a very big loss because it'll involve not only a loss of yardage, but Here also a Clark loss of a now. down. Here comes Clark up the middle, puts the heat on him, and he deliberately grounds the ball. Uh, they're looking to get that, uh, to hit a receiver over the middle, though. We should look for it. So as we said, that's also a loss of the down, so it's going to be second and 23 at the North Carolina State 40. Second and 33. Who hit again. This is Ricky Adams. Kurt Allerman led the defensive charge, gain of just a couple of yards, and of course, with North Carolina State trailing 27 to 7, sooner or later that ball has to be put in the air. Well, that's a tough situation to be in, you know, second and 33, you know, you've got to be Superman to make that play. I thought they might have run a screen or a draw. Now it's third and 30. Moody wide left. Marshall off to the right side. Moody at the Penn State 39 it'll be fourth down 11. Pass complete to Dave Moody. Now, this Moody come from the top of your screen getting between the cornerback and the safety coming across that middle as we spoke of before. It's a good reception but not not enough yardage for the first down. So Johnny Evans comes to the near sideline. North Carolina State has asked for a timeout so there is a timeout on the field. The score Penn State 27 North Carolina State 7 we'll be back right after this. Carolina State is going to gamble fourth and 11 at the Penn State 39 yard line. Johnny Here Evans comes a blitz. Blitzed again. Nowhere near Mike Crabtree. So Penn State takes over the ball at the Penn State 39 yard line. Again, Ray, I think young coach Ryan might have taken a, an unnecessary chance a little too soon because now Penn State's in good field position to go in and put some more points up and possibly put the game out of reach. First down, Penn State at the Penn State 39. Cephalo goes in motion. Mike Gooman struggles out across the 40. I'm sorry, that was Steve Geis who carried. By the way, we've just received word, uh, George, that referee Bill Parkinson has apparently suffered a broken nose. Oh, that's a shame. So Geis, the ball carrier, gets three yards at second down seven. Donovan to the near side. Power finally brought him down, but Penn State, Penn State today has a really good looking, versatile offense. Ray, when they go into the double wing like that, that forced North Carolina State to move a linebacker out on that slot. There was no linebacker inside, and Torrey just goes one on one with everybody. All right, first down at the North Carolina State 49. One of the Penn State linemen, I think it might have been the left guard, Dave Shuckry, just uh -huh. leaned forward and Argenta. Argenta. 
five yard penalty. It'll be first and 15 at the Penn State 46. You see, an offensive lineman, once he gets down, cannot make a move. A defensive man can come across and get back. Andy Oncotts is in a tight end, number 86. Legal procedure. Penn State will now be faced with a first and 20. That time the two tackles move. Greener and Benson. Well, either Chuck is trying to check off the play or change it, but this is very frustrating for a coach. Here you got good field position to put more points up, possibly put the game out of reach, and now they're having breakdowns. So the ball is back at the 41-yard line of Penn State. It is first down 20. Donovan and Pitsky are the two wide receivers. Steve Geis, about three yards. It'll be second and 17 as Jeff Easter, who's made a lot of fine defensive plays today, number 81 for North Carolina State, made the tackle. Well, I'd like to see them try to get the ball at Tommy Donovan more. Now, he's not as fast as the other receivers, and sometimes I don't pay as much attention, but he's an awfully good receiver. That was just a safety foul release on after the halfback. But I, I, think, I think Donovan was open on it. Second down, 17. For Donovan. Uh, they were playing Donovan awfully tight. He's a much better receiver than this. Lucina looks him over, lays it out there. Beautiful play. Great concentration. He goes up for the ball, takes it away from the defender. Oh, it? The defender took oh, it away from the Donovan. The defender well, took it away from Donovan. I was half right anyhow, right? Larry Eberhardt was the defensive uh, halfback. He took it away from him. Now that's the first turnover by Penn State versus five by North Carolina State. Brown and Johnson are the setbacks. Johnny Evans, the quarterback. This is Ted Brown. Run out of bounds by Bill Crummy. Evans pass complete to Ted Brown. Ray, you're never sure in this business. We thought Donovan had the ball. Defender goes up, and he takes it away from Donovan. Donovan did have the ball. And whoever ends up with it last, it's finds his keepers, loses weepers. So the interception by Eberhardt. The pass from Evans to Brown in North Carolina State. First down at the North Carolina State 34-yard line. Brown throws a pass to Mike Crabtree, and it's another first down. Ray, Penn State's lucky they, they were able to hold that play to show you. To Mike this is a pass. This will be a pass off a fake of a counter option. Watch him fake, come back out here, pitches it out. This is a design play. He's looking for the receiver at the top of the screen, and there's nobody there. The sec safety didn't come over and rotate over. So first down at the North Carolina State 48-yard line. Still over eight minutes to play in the third quarter. Reverse. This is Elijah Marshall. Bill Crummy has intercepted. A penalty marker is down. Two penalty markers are down. Clipping, North Carolina State, declined, of course. Penn State has the ball. Six turnovers now by North Carolina State. This started to be a reverse to the flanker coming out here. Watch it come around right here. It's perfectly played by the defensive end. Now he wants a throwback. This is what we call trick plays. And at this stage, he has backfires. Crummy comes right underneath and takes it away. All right. Here comes Mike Gooman. The 
tailbacks are really having a day today. 46 yards for Mike Gooman. Right now, Penn State's line is simply dominating North Carolina State's line. The tight end, the whole right side of the line just blew everybody out of there. Fullback made the block and it was easy sailing for Mr. Gooman. Look at all those people out there. Even you could run there from there, right? I don't know. Well, maybe. Capazzoli tries for another extra point. It is now Penn State, the totally dominant team. There's a timeout on the field. With a score, Penn State 34, North Carolina State 7. We'll be back right after this. Okay. I'll know Monday. I'll know Monday. GG boys have 208 yards between them already. Gooman and Geis. All right. Penn State kicks off after Gooman's touchdown run. North Carolina State. Looks like one of their linebackers, Joe Hanna, gets the short kickoff out to the North Carolina State 41-yard line. And I imagine we're going to start seeing a lot of new young players in the game for Penn State. Uh, Ray, don't you think Penn State's def defense looks a lot more alert than last oh, year? Much, much, much better. All right. First down at the 41-yard line for North Carolina State. <laughs> Tight end, Jim Stowe made a false move. The defensive ends now are Joe Lally, number 57. Joe DeAnge, number 97. Paul Suey, number 65, is getting a chance to play at one of the linebacking positions. Crummy and Dimonick for the halfbacks. Peter Kuski is still in at safety. First and 15, Ted Brown. <laughs> Met by Joe Dimonick. And Bruce Clark. So the linebackers now are Donaldson, Suey, Clark, and Millen. But Clark and Millen now leave. Tom DePasso and Steve Wanamaker check in at the inside linebacking spots. North Carolina State, it is second and nine. Midway, third quarter. Marker down, Ted Brown. Wanamaker finally gets Brown. Evans pass complete to Ted Brown. Remember, there is a marker down at the 45 yard line of North Carolina Mike State. On the play. Offside, State. offside. State. Number 99 of Blue offside decline. First down. Donaldson blitzes on his play. Nobody fixed his back coming out. He almost took this all away. Hey, there's plenty of time left in this ball game. They better settle down. Spoken like a true coach. Way to go, George. My brother's got five kids. I want him to stay healthy. I want him to <laughs> About one yard for Ted Brown. Met by Deanne and Patricio. Second down, nine. Ray, sometimes you put too many young substitutes in, you lose your cohesion on defense. Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania's Kevin Scanlon. North Carolina State's number two quarterback is apparently going to get a chance to play. Ted Brown. About a yard short of a first down where Paul Suey made the tackle. 
Just over six minutes left to play, third quarter. Billy Ray Vickers, a running back, comes in to replace a slightly limping Ted Brown. A couple of changes in the offensive line. Brad Bass and Chris Dieterich come in for North Carolina State. Three wide receivers here on third and one. And North Carolina State gets the first down at the 28-yard line as Vickers is brought down by Wanamaker. Just joined us. Penn State leading 34 to 7 with two electrifying runs in the game by Steve Geis and another by Mike Gooman. Crabtree to the left, Randy Hall to the right. Ricky Adams, Paul Suey had an arm on him. Ricky Adams carries. That was a counter gift. Counteraction by the quarterback when he handed the ball off. They're making yardage on these plays. But the clock, of course, is now almost as big an enemy of North Carolina State as is the Penn State football team. Andy Bailey and his friends. Final home appearance at a football game for Andy Bailey. Second and six. Vickers. And there's a North Carolina State first down as Joe Lally finally dragging down. Chuck Benjamin is coming in now to replace Randy Sidler. I assume he had him back there. He should have lifted him, drove through him. He let him break the break, uh, spin off him. Hey, first, guys. First down, North Carolina State at the Penn State 13-yard line. Vickers got about nine yards, and now Penn State's making three defensive changes. Well, that's what I was talking about. That time, nobody took the dive, man. One of the new linebackers missed his assignment. Clark comes back in. Alderman comes back in. Millen comes back in. It is second and one at the four. Probably a first and goal at the two. Billy Ray, Vickers. Billy Ray Vickers. First down, NC State. North Carolina State last week lost to a very good South Carolina team. the ball. Touchdown, North Carolina State. Bill Druschel of Greensburg wound up with that loose football. Well, you know, we have to check and see if that was a lateral pass or a forward pass. Evans tried to get the ball off to his trailing back, and it was ruled it was through the lateral. A lateral the pass. And then it was fumbled, apparently recovered by Penn State, but North Carolina State wound up with it, and Cheryl tries for the extra point. Scanlon the holder. So that changes to 34 14. Now there's the play. Watch it right here. Fakes to the dive man. Good faking. Now he tries to get rid of the ball here. If it's forward, it's not. It was behind him. Hits his hand. All right, we didn't see the whole thing. All right, he tried to get the ball to Timmy Johnson, who was trailing the play. So there's a timeout on the field with a score, Penn State 34, North Carolina State 14. We'll be back right after this.